Pokemon Steam. Hi guys, just a quick heads up on what I'm doing. I'm creating roofs. Um, this is Laser Cut MDF. I think it was War Bases that we got at a, a, um, a convention last year. But it sat and sat and sat and sat in a tub and not been used. So I've eventually got it out and started to create a roof. And the effect is pretty stunning. Um, but it's very time consuming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the roof to this size a card and then I'm going to mould it and then I can take castings of this and have myself lots of roof sections very quick very easy and um, just a little bit labour intensive in the setup but I think you can see the level of detail it's got so I think we're picking up more different tile shapes from war bases at the next convention I see them at and if it wasn't war bases well they've got a plug for nothing and I'll put the right people down below bye bye well that's all the pieces that I wanted on this one glued down. There's a nice rich piece um, that comes along with the actual um, laser cut as well which I've now got along the top. I've glued it all down, I've varnished it. As you can see it has warped but this is all then going to get glued down to my moulding base so that's not an issue. That all get glued down and clamped in place and left to dry on a bit of hardboard for moulding but it's been varnished, I've just stuck some um, Windsor Newton gloss varnish on it from the gallery range and next thing I'm going to do is trim so I'll take my metal ruler and I'll just cut along here right hand side trimmed left hand side still in the raw state, we can see how once I've got the mould done that this should join together and give a reasonable looking impression of two tiles joined, giving you one so as I say, it's mounted it on hardboard, um, clamped it down and glued it in place and now it's ready for me to make my mould. Mmm, pretty curing silicone. Mmm, yum yum. Pear. So that's the moulds made. Um, a couple of issues. Um, we're doing a crisp enough line that I was looking for along the edges here. Um, that's because I didn't get a full cure along the edges here because I didn't let the glue dry well enough here. Um, own fault, I know better. I thought I'd cleaned up, I thought it was dry, but the super glue wasn't obviously completely dry, or the white glue, one of the other, still must have not been a full cure, which left the edge on this not curing off properly. However, that being said, I've ran two test casts and the pieces are still relatively nice um, and will be more than suitable for making up roofs for my own terrain. It's not a completely straight edge there because of that, but a little bit of filling will save me an awful, an awful lot of time when it comes to actually making them rather than having to do this each time. Yes, that looks absolutely stunning gorgeous. It's a bit of a pain in the butt to make, um, time-wise. Um, but if you want gorgeous, crisp looking designs all the time, go with that. If you want to sacrifice the total gorgeousness for a little bit of speed, then go with that because I've still got the stunning detail here. It's just my edges are slightly out and most of that was user error. Um, had I not messed up the mould it'd be fine next mould I make on it will be better um, because all that's cured so just thought I'd show you them um, it's what I've been up to been playing away um, going to get a lot more of these cast I've got a whole bunch of other new moulds that I've made in my cell as well um, that I'm going to be playing and making spares and bits for the tables and then we're going to get on don't know why I've done that I turned the camera off halfway through um, before I finish my sentence but next I'm going to make a table. Um, we bought some 4x4 board today. Um, it's not going to be anything majorly um, off the wall, but it's just getting some different sides put on it so we can play games like Empire of the Dead and Hordes on it. Um, but as I say, made these moulds, casting up lots of these bits. Um, you may recognise these um, from a certain gaming systems things, but we're making up some loads of these as well so we can use them on our terrain. And that's where I'm at guys. 
thanks for checking it out. Sorry for feeling flat, uh, sounding flat, but I'm very tired tonight. So take care. Bye bye.